Hello and welcome. I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and a Canvasador. And I'm here to show you this really lovely app that has now been integrated into Canva. It gives you the option to create a long shadow on your text. So let's head over and I will show you how we do it. Here we are on my Canva account. And as you can see, I've already created this really fun long shadow text-based design in Canva. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You can start with a um, blank page, a blank design, head up to the home page and click create a design in Canva to open up a new page. If you just want to have a play with this, I would go for something like an Instagram post size, just a nice square size for you to have a play. I've just added an extra page into this design to show you how we use this app. Okay, on your left hand menu, you have got an app section. I'm going to click this and then I'm going to type extrude. It's called type extrude. There we go, with no gap in between. It's this one here, the letter E. If you do put a gap in between, it will still find it for you type extrude okay so i'm going to click on this app and then it will open up on the left hand side some boxes and things for, for me to fill out to create this text the first one is the actual text if you scroll down it will show you the actual design at the bottom so i'm going to type in i'm going to recreate the Business Design Academy one. Now you'll notice I've got three different fonts here or two different fonts. So they are actually two different boxes. So I'm gonna start with one, just type in the word business and it's changed down the bottom. I can change my font here. So Canva will actually show me the different fonts that I can use. Um, let's go for something different that will look nice here. That's quite a fun font, okay. So if I click my little arrow, I can now see how my text is coming along. Next, if you've got um, multiple lines, you can add more in here. So I can go down and I can say Design Academy. I can add in multiple lines and it will show you here. And that's what this is for. So you can change the gaps between your lines of text. Right, I'm going to delete those two because I just want the one line. You can change the alignment on your design as well. Let's go for central. Um, border width, this is the border around the actual text. So let's see if I can, there's the border width. We can just see the text in the bottom here. If I increase this, you can see the thickness around the letters increases really really bubbly letters there i'm gonna have it i can change this as well by typing in here let's say a five we'll go for five and then you get to the fun part this is the angle that you want your long shadow to go so i'm going to say let's have it just going over to the side and then this is the length so the bigger the number, the longer the shadow. I'm gonna just make that a little bit more to the left there. And now I can change my colors. So I can change the color of the font and I can change the color of the shadow. I'm gonna go for a real bright orange and purple look here. And once I'm happy with it, I click add to design. And it puts it straight into my design for me. I can now increase it like I would any other. I can also go back and edit this if I'm not happy with it. If I click off it, this section here on the left hand side reverts back to the original. So I can now go up to the top and type in design. Um, I can change the font. Let's go for some really, really random fonts here. Three different fonts to show you what we can do. So there's my second one. Um, I'm going to central it. 
Line height, I don't need to touch because it's one line. My border width, we went for a five on the other one. So I'm going to stay with the same. And now I've got my angle. So I want it the same angle. You can copy these numbers down and make sure each line of text is exactly the same if you want to. And my length which I probably would do if I was doing this for a proper design I'm going to put out somewhere, but this is just to show you. Um, let's go for, and as well as the same with the colours as well, you can copy these numbers down and make sure everything on each line is consistent. I'm going to go for, oh, let's go for a nice pink font and a lighter shade on my shadow add to design and it's now added to my design i'm going to make this big as well and move it up click off it's reverted back academy this is definitely not my business colors or my fonts these are just to show you how this works so for the last one, hmm, let's go for something a bit different. This is more of a handwritten font and I'm going to do the same with this. So I'll central it. Um, don't need my line height, my border. I'm going to change to five. And then I've got the angle, which I'm going to have it in the same direction as the other two. And increase the length, the colors. Let's go for maybe a tealy colour and an even lighter background shadow. Add to design. Now these are random, but it shows you what you can do. And there we have a very random, indeed, design. Now, what I'm going to do is change the background color because be, because they've Canva have added these as photos. When you go to color, so say you want to change the background, it will actually show you the colors that you have picked within those texts. See, I've now got the three different lots of shades that it's found and color matched from my design. So I could change these to something. I quite like that one, actually. That's quite nice could go for a purple but I want to be able to see the purple background so I'm going to go for that one and there we have my really random really purple design with long shadows and it is as simple as that my favorite out of the three is the top one I really like this sort of more bolder simpler font and the darker shadow so you could change these if you wanted to um, if I wanted to change them, you just click on the one you want to change and it will move over to the left hand side and then you can adjust the colours on the left. Um, I'm going to go for a, a more of a darker one so I can change that update and it will update it for me. Same as this one. If I think to myself, actually, not too keen on this font, I could do with something a little bit more in keeping with the top two. This one, for example, it will now change it for me. I think actually, no, let's let's go with a darker background again. I quite like that. And I want to increase the length because they have changed the font. It's reverted the length back. Um, as you can see, it's reverted the length back. I'll go for a little bit more of an angle there. Click update and it will update it for me on my design. So it's really versatile, this. You can change everything you've done. You don't have to stick to it. You don't have to delete it if you think, oh, it's no good, I don't like it. You can edit it by just clicking on the individual one, and on the left-hand side, all of your information will come up. Now, like I said, you can just, if you want, business, design, academy you can just have all of your letters all of your words the same going through i'm going to change it to central 
line height I'm happy with. I'm going to leave it there. My border width, I, mean, I can change it if I want to, to make it really chunky, but I want to be able to see that long shadow. So I'm going to move my shadow so it comes down to the left. I do like the left when it comes to shadow and I can change it. If I wanted, I could say go for a very dark colour and have a very light shadow. When I add this to my design, when you've got a darker coloured background, you then have the darker colour. It's also done the outline as well for me. So there's a lot you can do with this. It's really good fun. Um, you can have a play with this. Now, these are ones I've done on a different day, but I can still edit them. Just need to click on them and then it gives me the option in the left hand side. And these are the ones I've just done for you now. So what do you think? I really like that. I think it's fun. I think it's something different to play with. Um, you could use it for your business name. You can even use it for your logo for your business, or you could use it on party invites. There's loads of different ways you can use this awesome feature. So please go and have a play with it. Discover what you can do. If you want, come and show me. Pop it into my Facebook group, have a search for Create on Canva and you will find my Facebook group and come and share your designs with us. That's what the group's there for. So that's me. I'm Laura, Canva creator and Canvassador. Please, please, please do follow my channel because I have loads and loads of videos like this for you. So that is it from me today. I will see you in the next video.